Sometimes you need an appraisal on your property. And sometimes you actually want the value to be less and sometimes you want the value to be more. You're going to want to listen to this show to find out why you might want it to be less and also how you can make it less or more. I'm Ken Decker. I'm Ryan Decker. And together we form part of the Decker team. He's a chip off the old block, so to speak. And we are excited about bringing you this show about appraisals. And also we're going to talk a little bit about the valuation of a property, what a realtor does, and what an actual appraisal consists of and why they're different. Yeah, because a lot of people think they're the same thing. They think, you know, an appraisal, can't you get that from a realtor? Or, you know, do they have to be a licensed appraiser? Um, Does an appraiser have to come from the bank or can you just call one out of the phone book or Mm -hmm. online? Yeah. Yeah. And and quite often we'll get a call from uh, a a prospective client or or just someone that's heard us on the radio and they say, Mm -hmm. well, can you give me an evaluation because I'm going through a divorce or something and we need Mm -hmm. to settle our, our accounts. And generally the answer is, oh, no, actually I can't because we're not certified appraisers. Mm -hmm. There are certain times that you must have a certified appraiser. And as a matter of fact, even sometimes, depending on the lender, there's only specific Mm -hmm. appraisers that they have on the list. If they're not on the list, list, doesn't matter. So you waste your money. Mm -hmm. So depending on where you're getting a refinance, for instance, you'll want to make sure you don't get an appraisal from a company that's not on their list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's actually one, that's a good lead in there, a good segue. Yeah. That's one of the reasons that you might want to get an appraisal. What, we're going to talk about the reasons. So what would be the reason? Because you kind of named a few in there. Yeah, I did kind of. But um, if you want to refinance your property, so you're going to pull money out of it, Mm -hmm. whether it be to... um, relieve debt or to pay for a student going to university Mm -hmm. or a marriage or my favorite um, your favorite you take money out to buy another house yes and actually we did a show Mm -hmm. um, with Kelly Wilson yeah about refinancing recently so that's that's a good one to tune into if you if you want to know more so yeah if you want to refinance and you do that you know because you want money out or you know, things are tight. Mm -hmm. Um, We don't advise doing it if, you know, using it as an ATM as some people do. Uh You know, they wait the five years, it's time to renew and they they increase their debt load and they're never really getting ahead. So we don't advise that. Right. And that could be a reason why Mm -hmm. you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So what are some other reasons? Uh, Divorce. Divorce. mentioned earlier in the show, yeah, divorce. Uh, The reason that's the division of assets. Right. And, and that could be for any reason. Either you're, you know, getting a divorce and you're going to sell the house to your spouse or your mm-hmm. ex-spouse, mm-hmm. or um, you're going to need to sell it, and but it won't be sold for a little while, and you're trying to make the uh, estate a separation of assets. Um, right. So and, there could be, and as long as it's somewhere in the vicinity, then it's not hard to adjust. But mm-hmm. if you're out by fifty or a hundred thousand dollars, that can be a big problem. Yeah. Now. Um, Sometimes you want the appraisal as well. You want it fairly on because there may be one of the spouses in it, living in Mm -hmm. it, and the other one living somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so they're paying their living expense, and and I'm I'm not a family lawyer. I don't know Mm -hmm. anything about divorce, but I do know that they're going to want the valuation of the house, and they probably want it at the time of the separation. Mm -hmm. And so that's a good time to get it. And it's good if the two people agree on who the appraiser is going to be. And if not, sometimes court might say get two appraisals. Yep. And as long as they're within 10%, they'll sometimes average it. And if they're beyond 10%, they might order a third appraisal. Yeah. And and that that. shouldn't be a real estate like agent. That should be a real appraiser. And so we're just going to kind of throw that in. So when there's a divorce... We don't want to get in the middle of that. Just get a right, you know, a true appraiser who can figure that out for valuing. 
Yeah, no, that um, depends on the type of divorce. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people are, uh, they don't need an appraisal for court because they've mm -hmm. just decided they're going to separate their ways, they're going to liquidate, yep. and whatever it is, is. Mm -hmm. And so then a, a real estate agent can come in, give them an evaluation, as long as both people agree that that's the real estate agent they're going to use. Yeah. And then we go ahead and sell the house right and the money we get is the money the house is worth right and so that's not so much an evaluation for legal for court. court right that is an evaluation for do we want to you know sell it mm -hmm. is that the right option right and that would be the right time yes to get an evaluation yes another another reason would be for a change of use oh interesting so right. How do you change, like, let's say it's my house. Mm -hmm. What do you mean change the use? Well, for instance, you're doing that right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're living in a property mm -hmm. that you're about to move into another principal residence and mm -hmm. turn that into a rental. Yes. Now, when you, in the end, sell it, mm -hmm. the government's going to want to know what the value is of when you change the use mm -hmm. so that you can pay capital gains on the difference. And sometimes people come to me and go, I need the value of the property from 20 years ago. And I'm sorry, I go, I'm sorry, I don't have the data. Mm -hmm. And you can get that appraisal. It's called like a forensic or a post appraisal. They will do it. And it's very expensive mm -hmm. to do it back that far. A current appraisal is so much easier. So if you so what kind of use, cost is you know let's just hit that real quick. I know it's kind of off topic, but we keep appraisal. talking about it. So the cost of an appraisal for a regular residential property. We're not talking commercial at this point. Just That's a good question. I I hate quoting other people's yeah, no. uh, business, but I think you're going to be plus or minus uh, four hundred. Yeah, I would say anywhere between three hundred and five hundred, mm -hmm. um, depending on what it is, who you're getting what's required, if they're bank or not bank. And there's different appraisals, right? There's real estate value, but there's also rent amounts. That's mm -hmm. usually a lower amount. Um, sometimes they can just do a drive-by You appraisal. mean appraisal based on the income of the no, property? No, that'll be much more, right? When it's- a um, More expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when you start getting into a commercial type mm -hmm. appraisal, I mean, I've, I've paid for appraisals that were over $5,000. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not for a normal house. No. So. Yeah, that's commercial, and that's why I'm saying we're talking about residential today. Yep. But you know, under 500 bucks or right around that, yes. you should be good. And a lot of times, if you're if you're refinancing, you're going to pay for the appraisal. Mm -hmm. If you're buying a house and the lender is giving you a mortgage, mm -hmm. a lot of times the lender pays for the mm -hmm. appraisal. Yeah. So there's no cost. Even with refinancing, as long as you're getting more money, sometimes they'll also pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, but in some cases, it's not enough, or they don't, you know, they, there can be different reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, also, time frame. So sometimes they'll throw in the lawyer to help you with the refinance, but if there's not enough time for their lawyer to do it, because they need a lot more time, you'll have to pay a regular real estate lawyer, which will be a lot more expensive. Wow. So you want to start doing your refinance as early as you can, like a couple months out, not a couple weeks out. Okay. Okay. So we really haven't gotten into yet <laughs> the reason we might want to reduce the value right. of our property. So stay tuned. On our next segment, we'll talk about that. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward with the Decker team.